Hi, welcome. So today we're going to talk about a very important issue with local government. Here in Nelson, British Columbia, we have a plethora of cannabis-based businesses, primarily dispensaries operating within city limits, um, primarily helping patients access safe medicine. Now, Nelson City Council uh, has been trying to find a way to stop the unchecked growth of cannabis-based businesses like dispensaries or like-minded businesses and the tool that they're looking at applying to this situation is an amendment to current land zone use that would prohibit any cannabis-based business of any type from operating anywhere within the city of Nelson. Now, it's my understanding from reading through this amendment that the language is favorable to businesses that are currently in operation. Now, it seems that the current amendment, should it pass, will not be used to knock businesses like the Kootenays Medicine Tree and others operating in Nelson out of business, that it's going to be used to stop this unchecked growth. The concern that we have is that the language may be too general. And while it's good to have a way to uh, allow certain growth of businesses under certain conditions, we have to be mindful that the regional economy benefits a lot from cannabis, medical cannabis production, processing and sale. And there needs to be a way under local government where businesses that are like-minded, that want to enter this industry, that haven't been into the industry yet, can do so in a regulated manner that's responsible in all areas. So that's going to be something that we're hoping to achieve, um, maybe to soften the language, or at least to give our opinion on the possible consequences for the regional economy and the growth of the regional economy over the next handful of years. So we're asking everyone with a public interest in medical cannabis sales and as it applies to the local economy to come down and talk to Nelson City Council, share your opinion, and uh, be a part of the democratic process. I believe if the business owners and the public and the medical patients and city council work together, we can come up with perhaps a one, two or three step approach that would give them what they need, which is a tool to stop the unchecked growth, but to apply it to those businesses that are properly developed, that do have a place in this regional economy and deserve a spot and eventually a business license. Thanks very much.